Stevie, a 1-0 Scottish Cup defeat to Stranraer this afternoon in, in the end. What's your thoughts on the 90 minutes? Extremely disappointed. Um, we knew it was going to be a tough place to come. Um, to a man, we underperformed today. You know, and it's very rarely that I've said that. I shoulder the blame, the responsibility for that, because, you know, we have underperformed and team selections come into that and, you know, extremely disappointed that we've been knocked out of the competition. You made a couple of changes today. It seemed a bit enforced with Lee Ashcroft suspended, Greg Kilty Cup tied, Lewis McCann and Danny Devine coming in, but still a pretty strong start in 11 when you, you look in the grand scheme of things. Yes, and as I say, there was opportunities arose because of you know, players being cup tied, suspensions, um, but it gave people opportunities to do, but collectively. You know, we got the plaudits for a performance at Parkhead earlier in the season where to a man we were exceptional. Um, and today, you know, I think to a man we've all underperformed in that. As I say, I'm not trying to pass the buck onto the players far from it. Um, as a coaching staff, we need to look and, and see that there's traits where we're, we're, we're losing certain games against certain types of sides. So it's something that we we'll have to evaluate. Ryan Scully went off around 23 minutes uh, after a lengthy stoppage. How's he? I've heard that Ryan's talking, he's, you know, he's, he's come round, he, was, he had been knocked out. Um, so to the extent of how, how bad the injury is, we, we, we don't actually know at the moment. How much disruption did that cause with that stoppage? Obviously both sets of players having to try and keep themselves warm and ready. Um, did you feel that that had any kind of impact on the way the, the rest of the first half went? I actually, I actually thought it, it's, it calmed the game down a little bit. It wasn't a game for playing, trying to play football. The, the pitch was heavy; it was cutting up, and sometimes you have to learn to play to conditions as well. You know, we went up to Ardrothy earlier in the season, and the sort of gale force wind. Today we've come down and played on a pitch that, we, you know, it wasn't easy to keep your foot in. But that's that's part of football. And if we're going to develop players, we need to learn players to to adapt to situations like this. Second half, and again, it was similar kind of frantic, intense stuff. Um, penalty, take it no qualms over the, the decision? No, listen, we've been on the, the wrong end of some penalty decisions this season, but I, I, it's a clear handball. And after the goal went in, the reaction of the players were you, did you, did you feel that the players kind of showed enough determination there to really try and get back in the game? Well, what we tried with it, we ended up, it was a forced change obviously with Ryan, uh, Scully having to come off, so there's one of your substitutes used. Unfortunately, Ryan, <coughs> Ryan Dow picked up a knee injury during the game as well, so you know we were forced into that substitution as well. We tried to go to a diamond to allow Kyle Turner to play off uh, Jamie Hamill in the middle of the park, and, you know, without really cutting uh, Strand Arrow open and creating enough chances to win a game of football. Uh, we sort of had a go at them towards the end, but you know, as I say, collectively it wasn't good enough to do. Obviously it's not a positive that we can now just focus on the league, but it does give us a kind of target for the remainder of the season, so it's just full steam ahead to try and finish as high up the table as we can now. Oh, isn't it? It'll hurt. I think anybody watching this will be able to see how much it hurts. I know it's hurting the players, I know it's hurting the staff. The unfortunate thing it does have a, the implications is if you don't go through the cup competition finances as well, you know it has an impact on that. So. Um, as a manager, I'm disappointed because I know what it brings to the club and, and that side of things, but I'm not going to hide from any responsibility I've got. As I say, I don't want to shoulder the blame on this being oh, we're developing players because it was deeper than that today and it's something that we've got to sort out. A week until the next game at home part of Thistle in the league, so um, a, a week to try and bounce back and, and, and really get the players uh, going again ahead of that match. No, definitely. And, and, I don't want to sound too upbeat. I'm no one for, you know, showing my heart and disappointment. But tonight isn't a time to really be concentrating on the party with this all. We've got to uh, probably have conversations, heat, a few heat conversations to, to work out why we're losing games like we did today. And obviously, um a long journey home for the Dunfermline fans that made it today and as you said they'll be feeling the hurt as much as yourself and the rest of the guys are. Um, what's your kind of message for them? Do you know the, the one thing tonight I don't want to sound patronising because it, it wasn't good enough and again I'm, I, I must stress this, I'll shoulder the blame for that because 
did the players perform today? No, they never. Did they still try? Yes, they did. And you know, some people might want to shoot me down for that. Um, as I say, we must start coming to places like this and knowing how to win games of football.